Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How's your day? Interesting. <laughs> Where's homicide? Ah, they're dragging ass as usual. So, here's what we got. Santa Claus there is your trigger man. His real name is Randall Edwards. Uh, the clerk is, was Heather Harrington. She's DOA. Ambulance is en route. There's no sign of the money yet. And uh, this went out as a silent alarm. Just another Christmas Eve, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and get this. Santa Claus says he didn't do it. Of course he didn't. How could he? He's out delivering all those toys, right? <laughs> Joker. <laughs> hey, you want a candy cane? No, oh, man. No, oh, come no, on. No, no, no. I'm going in. How's Julia? Well, she loves Christmas. At least somebody does. What the hell are you doing in my crime scene? Shouldn't you be on the street controlling the crowds, officer? In my uniform. Yeah, congratulations. Now step off. Last thing I need is a DA up my ass because some dumb shit trampled my scene. Let's go. Pardon me, Serpico. What was that? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's Heather Harrington. What? Her name. Just. Thought you might want to know. My mistake. Get him the hell out of here. Because, see, I would want to know. Because tomorrow, somebody who knows her is going to have a very unmarried Christmas. You done? Yeah, he's done. He's done. Come on. How do you just waltz into these crime scenes? You see a young girl murdered, you don't feel a thing? Is that part of the job description? Does the application say homicide detectives all must be diagnosed sociopaths? Control, 6 Lincoln 20, code 7. Roger 20, code 7 approved. Bring back something tasty, okay, honey? Don't I always, Julia? 20 out. Heads, I'll do it. Best two out of three. Merry Christmas. That's for the children. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Dad. You'll be all right. Take it easy next time. Won't be a next time. Too young for makeup. No, I'm not. But I also saw this dog at the pet store and I want it. Evening. What can I get for you? Christopher. Hey, Mom. What are you doing here? I just happened to be in the neighborhood. Thought I would uh, stop by. Oh. <laughs> it just happened today. I know. What are the odds? Remote. Probably. Hmm. So, um, how are things with you? Never better. 
Last thing I pegged you being was a cop. Hmm. Yeah, it makes two of us. It's detective. No. Ah. Detective. Well, I guess you didn't stop by for the conversation, did you? <clears throat> it's actually my dinner break, so I thought I would kill two birds with one stone. Same old? Mm-hmm. Times two. <laughs> I think your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Second one's not for me. A girl? Are you? Yeah. Hmm. In fact, I might uh, propose to her. Maybe even tonight. <laughs> Christmas present. Something like that. Is that why you stopped by to tell me? No. So how's, how's work? Never changes. Had a couple of chuds in here earlier, you know. Same old kind of night. You don't get a lot of customers on Christmas Eve, huh? Nope. <clears throat> Not really. How are you holding up, Mom? I'm good. Everything's fine. Saw those when I walked in. What? Started smoking again, huh? Yeah, a few years ago. You said you'd quit. A couple of times. Didn't take, huh? Didn't feel the need after you left. I only quit for you. I don't understand why you would start up smoking again, especially after what happened to Dad. Okay, now you don't talk about things you know nothing about. Is that the same tree? First grade, right? Wow. Yeah. It's been a long time since I had a real Christmas tree in here. It's festive. Mom, when is Daddy coming? He's coming, baby. You gotta be patient, okay? Okay. Okay, Chris. <clears throat> Let's be honest. What are you really doing here? I just wanted to say, Merry Christmas, Mom. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you. Um, I gotta hit the road, well, wait, get back what, to work. What about your food? Um, she'll understand. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> In that case, it was really nice seeing you. Unless there's something you want to say. Like what? Not for me to say. This is about Dad, because I'm not in the mood for games. You want something from me? Oh, no. There's nothing I want from you. Nothing. Okay, so that's it. There's something on your mind. Now's the time to say it. You didn't even ask about him. I didn't need to, Mom. When the door opened and I saw you and not him, I knew. You know, before the funeral, I sent you that letter. He wanted to see you just one last time before he passed. I didn't read it. Did you even open it? Thought about it. <laughs> That's just so typical. You just can't be wrong. That's what you want. You just want me to say that I was wrong, and, and No, it... how about we just start off with... I'm sorry. You can't say those two little words. No, nope. because you're just, you're too damn, you're too damn.
I'm stubborn. No, I'm not. Not what? Not stubborn or not wrong? Pick one. I gotta go to work. Okay, Chris, don't. Please don't leave. We can fix this. Just, you just have to try. Just because you won't let me forget what I did wrong doesn't mean that I don't spend every day wishing I could change it. But I can't go back in the past, Mom. And I've come to accept that. Why can't you? No, Chris, wait! <sighs> Control, six Lincoln 20, code seven, over. Over. Roger, 20. Are you okay, Chris? Negative, Control, 20 out. Why couldn't I just say I'm sorry? I'm sorry. See? I'm sorry. Jesus. Christopher! Turn the vehicle off, please. Yes, sir. Oh, I guess I was wrong. The, the diner. I said there wasn't going to be a next time. You know how fast you were going? Uh, no. Could have killed somebody. Something funny? No, no sir. Deal with those. Oh, those, um, just some side work I do. Uh, irrigation, stuff like that. License and registration. Sure thing. What was that? Uh, I don't know. Pop the trunk. Now! Yes, sir. Now! Yes, sir. You know, that's how my son was. Really disrespectful and stubborn, always wanting someone at his beck and call. You're talking about him in the past tense. Yeah, well, I haven't talked to him in years. That's just how it is. Sorry, Mr. Evening, sir. Take seat anywhere. I'll be in in a sec. Hey. Hey. So, get any good shots? Couple. They gonna make you rich and famous? I doubt it'll be as famous as Abaddon, but it's an interesting hobby. So you're just gonna be one of those starving artists? Are we starving? No, no thanks to you. What does that mean? I hate to break it to you, but your trust ain't gonna last forever. You know, you 
One of a handful of people that believes that seven figures won't last a lifetime. At the rate you spend it? On you. Are you regretting it yet? Of course not, I love you. Sasha Harrington Carlisle. Jeez. I sound like I was born with a silver spoon up my ass. We talked about this. No hyphen. Uh, yeah, hyphens. Consider yourself lucky. I was gonna keep my last name. Taking the groom's name is too fucking patriarchal. You don't want my name. In Korea, wives don't take their husband's last name. I didn't know we lived in Korea. Which Korea? The Kidman. So, my David, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yeah. This brooding photographer shit is for the birds. When are you gonna get a real job? A real job? Uh, refresh my memory. I know this is a very foreign concept to you, but most people tend to leave their house for eight hours a day, five days a week, and they go to this magical faraway land called work. Yeah. And they make money. <laughs> I said so, maybe I got left out of the loop, huh? David, I'm serious. You hanging around the house all day is gonna fucked up when I have to go and work. What's bothering you more, that you're working or that I'm not? Both. You wanna switch? No, I just wanna be equal. David. Not really. Hi, I'm sorry for the delay. I hope I didn't keep you too long. There you go, it's on the house. Merry Christmas. Appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you. Would you like some uh, food, dessert? I think we'll need a minute or two. Oh, okay, just let me know. She is the jealous type, so. Got you by the balls? My script. Ugh. So, all this, what are you doing? For the kids. You have kids? A charity. It's just a small way that I give back. On the streets, kids don't have much to look forward to at this time of year. I'm Lena. Jason. Pleasure. So, got any plans for Christmas? I mean, besides this, obviously. Very little. I'm a full-blown heave. Yeah, I'm not really a big man upstairs kind of guy. Just because I'm into the Tanakh doesn't mean I can't give you New Testament boys some love. So, you do anything after? Just him. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Jason. And uh, good luck with the collection. David. David, I'm not fucking around, please. Debatable. Bullshit. 
You treat me like your fucking pet. While I'm at work, you hang around on the sofa, watching movies, or doing whatever the fuck you do on that couch. I read too, sometimes. Besides, how would you know if you're at work? Because you're always still watching them when I come back. Oh, well, you're really talking at the heartstrings here. I mean, those starving kids in Africa got nothing on you. That's not fair. Life is not fair. I paid for the house. I paid for my car. I paid off your car. The one you handpicked, by the way. Got you that rock you love to flaunt so fucking much. And all your jewelry and your spa treatments, whatever the hell they are. And in return, you pay the groceries, which I cook and the utilities. And is that so tough? Because if it is, you're free to walk. And with your propensity for being the village bicycle back in the day, you should have no trouble hooking up somewhere. So don't pretend you're Mother Teresa and you don't give a damn about money, because I know you, Sasha. And despite your contempt for me, I would prefer you stay because I love you, regardless how you feel about me. You sure know how to show it. Don't you think? I wish you loved me the same way I loved you. Meaning what? Let's just say you love your low-cut tops and you're getting dolled up all the time, but you're not doing it for me. So you think I'm screwing other guys behind your back? I just think that you like looking your best and uh, I look like a waste of time. In a t-shirt. It's a heat wave. You want to get out of here? Always doing that. Why didn't you park in the lot? Because I couldn't find a spot. You and your old man car. Oh, come on. Let's not start that again. It looks really bad when you park in the driveway, you know? What next to your Lexus? It's a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna pretend I didn't blatantly hear you dissing my car. Would I do that? Huh? <laughs> wait, wait, I I've got a present for you. Okay, thank it you. It's in the trunk. Can we go? Please. It's in the trunk. Come on, David. I'm sweating. Let's open it. I'm gonna here. get cholera. You're standing in this Christmas heat wave. Christmas heat wave. But you yeah. don't get cholera from heat. You get it from bad water. Okay. I will open it. Okay. You know, I think it's some of my best work. I took him last night. Isn't that something? Santa came early. Here. I thought you were in the intima type. Is this one of those, it's not me, it's you things, or it's not you, it's me things, whatever the fuck it is? How could you do that? How could I? How, How could I? I'm you so do? glad you asked me that. I mean, while you were kissing him in the dark, I had to open the aperture to an F3.5. The ISO was a bitch, David. but I got there David, eventually. David, stop! When I told you I loved you, it wasn't bullshit. But you never loved me, did you? Did you? Of course I did. Pass dance. I still do. Get your hands off me. I don't know what hurts more. You're lying with a straight face. Or me wishing I could believe you. Sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. You wanna kill me? You wanna kill me? You wanna kill me? Okay, let's go. She's done for, buddy. Snap out of it. We got work to do. 
first things first, okay? You can't stay out here in this heat like this. Or you're gonna need a fucking IV to replace all the fluids you lost. Where you going? All right. It's cool, man, no hurry. I'll stay here and keep watch. Lose something? Oh. Jeez, what happened? Oh, I, I, I didn't know. I, I, I tripped. I tripped on what? Oh, it's, it's kind of stupid, really. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, whoa, whoa. God damn it! You'll be all right. Take it easy next time. Won't be a next time. Camera's not the Hulk diamond, buddy. You can always buy a new one. If I'd left it there, it would have been suspicious. Well, body checking a cop is pretty suspicious, too. Don't you think? <sighs> I don't think Sleeping Beauty is gonna wake up from that one. Mm -mm. Shut the fuck up. Whoa, dusty, huh? That's what I love about you, Davey. You hit all the stages. Boom, 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 boom. One after the other. What? Huh? You should be happy. Acceptance is the final stage. Come on, give me one more fucking chance. Shut the fuck up! Why are you getting all riled up, huh? I mean, you should be grateful, dick. Oh, fuck. We better get her out of here. She looks so peaceful, don't you think? All right. Let's roll. I bet you 20 bucks I find it first. I don't even own a shovel. Of course you do. It's one of those things everyone has stashed away somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. And I'm the type of guy that's gonna say, I told you so. Let's go. Hold on a second. I'm not chopping her up. So look, we'll go out there, dig a hole, and put her in. Right. Yeah. Then we'll cut her into teensy tiny pieces. I'm not doing that, I told you. I'm not, I'm not cutting her up. All right, Jesus. See, this is why I hate hanging out with you, Dave. You never want to have no fun. Being psychotic is fun to you. Well, here's what's psychotic. You fucking sit around all day watching action movies and never doing anything with your life. I'm happy. Good get you lying. Nobody can be happy in the way you do. I suppose all things considered, it's not too bad. What would you do if mommy and daddy were still alive and you didn't have this nice little Nest thing. You be doing the same fucking thing you're doing now. Nothing. Nada. Ha. I can't believe she did that to me. Oh, you do. Hey, what does he have that I don't? Sense of humor? Massive top? Hmm. Sounds like this is what you think. Shut the fuck up. You better slow down. You're driving a little too fucking fast. 
I'm not. You're driving too fast, okay? See? I told you you were driving too fast. I can't fucking believe you. You're distracting me. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. Oh, jeez. Just be cool, man. We're not going to jail. You are if they find that fucking body. I'm not going to jail. Hence, we're not going to jail. Get it? Don't do anything. Oh, trust me. Hey, you want me to handle this? Because I can play nice. I think you've done enough for one night. But I want you screwing this up. Screwing what up? Huh? Shut up. You shut up. Turn the vehicle off, please. Yes, sir. Oh, I guess I was wrong. The, the diner. I said there wasn't going to be a next time. You know how fast you were going? No. You could have killed someone. Slow your roll, Mr. Police Officer. Close only counts in horseshoes, grenades, and nuclear war. <laughs> Something funny? No, sir. You ran a red light while speeding in an urban center. And you're laughing about it. I'm not. I wasn't paying attention. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Don't apologize to this prick. Take him out so we can get back to business. What's the deal with those? Well, those, uh... Just some side work I do, uh, irrigation, stuff like that. License and registration. Oh, this must be serious. Officer or law? Emotion forbidden. What's that? I don't know. Pop the trunk, now. You should take him out for your own good. Take him out. Take him out. You heard him. Now! Now's not the time to ponder your shitty life choices, okay? Sorry. This is not working out, you, me, us. Breaking up with me, Davy? I'm serious. Every time I listen to you, things turn to shit. Well, whose fault is that? Yours or mine? Mine. I don't want to see you anymore. I want you to go away. You just can't wish me into a cornfield, Davy. It doesn't work that way. But I can sure as hell try. You'll die without me. No. Ever since the beginning, I just wanted to do the right thing. I find someone who truly makes me happy, and you blow that. You can't stand the fact that you're not the most important thing in my life. I have things I want that don't include you. Maybe, maybe one day things will change. But they won't until you give me some space. Just for a while, okay? Just for a while.
just for a while. Please. You're late. Dude, whatever. Are you the guy or not? I don't got time for this shit. I'm the guy. Never shake the devil's hand. You realize I was about two seconds from walking out that door? No chains on that booth. No money at yours. It's coming. Is it going to be here sometime between now and New Year's? Have faith. In you? Not in your fucking life. So, what kept you? Traffic. A lot of traffic on that sidewalk? Being in a hurry is not a big priority to me. That, I can work with. So, why are we doing this? If I get my money, so long as we're clear on that fact. That's not clear for a second. We haven't discussed the price yet, just your startup cash. And? And how much is it? Does it matter? If I told you it were a million dollars right now, you'll find a way. I don't know where I'd find a million. The same place you're gonna find 38 grand. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a little higher than I expected. I was thinking five, maybe 10. You thought wrong. My usual fee, 25. Plus a 50% markup, because I just don't like you. Totals, 38. I don't know if I can swing that. You'll find a way. Wouldn't want to waste my time or anything. Not if I can help it. See, you're lying again. Trust me, dishonesty doesn't suit you. Ten minutes. I don't know what's keeping him. Him? My contact. <laughs> okay, well. This nebulous contact, know you're on the clock, right? He's gonna get you your money. I'm a patient person, tolerant even. But there's a big difference between patient with a first timer and a client who's a disorganized, deceptive gold digger. Gold digger? No gal, pay someone else to off their spouse, lest there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Just pointing that out. Still, it doesn't matter. I'm your client and you work for me. Not till I take your money, I don't. I'm walking at 6.30. Money or not, got me? 6.21, plenty of time. And I prefer not to spend it in this shithole diner. Sorry for the delay, I was a little tied up. You guys ready to order? Not hungry. Oh, well we're gonna be open for a little bit. In case you change your mind. It's okay. I suspect I'll be leaving pretty soon. And you? Maybe later. Oh, maybe later then. I'm gonna head to the little girl's room, okay? Good, get lost. You got this. You're fronting the money. You're taking the risk. We're doing things my way. I'm not gonna let you push me around. My money, my deal. I demand a better deal. I'm getting a better deal.
Thought you fell in. New price, 10 grand, and it's not up for discussion. What the hell happened in there? I think it's fair. And this is your expert opinion about these matters? I know what's right is right. There you go, waving that word around again. I gave you a chance to do the right thing. You didn't, now I have to. You wouldn't know the right thing if some fella stuck it in your G-string. Been checking on me? Hey, I don't judge. Can we turn on the AC in here, please? It's busted. Of course it is. What? Can't take the heat? What do you do with the money anyways? You stack it in a safe or something? Hang on to it for a rainy day? Why are you having me waste your beloved? The dude is fucking cuckoo. Guys are simple. I had this job a couple years back. Guy wanted me to take out his wife. You know, whatever. Standard job. Get it all the time. This bald, lanky, Coke bottle glasses wearing motherfucker would spend his whole day sitting on his ass playing computer games. His wife was an obstetrician. Pretty girl. Never make the runway, but from what I hear, her IQ's in the fourth percentile. She would have been going places, not for that long. So one day they have an argument. One thing leads to another, and she put the proverbial gun to his head and says, you got two choices, get a job or get out. So he gave me a call. Did you do it? <laughs> Didn't have to. The guy up and killed over the day before we were supposed to meet. Pulmonary embolism. Turns out you can only sit on your ass for so long before life catches up with you. And why are you so happy about it? The guy died. Two reasons. His death was no big loss. And his wife kept up her end of the bargain till death do their part. I still keep tabs on her from time to time. She's doing better. Would you have done it? If he hadn't croaked? I think about that sometimes. What's your family think of what you do? They must be so proud. A lot of people hate their jobs, but they still do them. I'm no different. He's here. He's not here until he's here. Three, two, No, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. I don't care. Go ahead, Romeo. Scratch away. Nothing. I'm going to consider this a victory. It's been a pleasure. It hasn't. We're not done yet. You're entitled to your opinion. Thank you, Jason. I like your lap dog. He knows where to keep his mouth shut. No. 
This is a big operation. I don't want to tell you, Randy, but uh, we don't exactly need Santa's after Christmas. It's Randall. Don't call me Randy. And, and yeah, I get it, but come on, Barrett. No, look, I like you. I always have. But revenues are down. You know if I had something to be yours, you know that. But there's no money. No money, no jobs. I appreciate that, but... I... No buts. That's it. Look, if anything opens up, you're at the top of my list. Till then... So where does that leave me? Somewhere else. You know, I, I just, I don't accept that. I will do anything, anything. I'll pick up garbage with a pointy stick. Hey, I had to let go of three maintenance workers just last week. Do you remember that story on the news a while back about the, I don't know, it was like 78 people who stood in line all day for a temp job washing dishes? Mm, sure. Yeah, guys with degrees got passed over for that. Yeah. What chance do I have out there with things like that going on? I couldn't tell you. But you're resourceful. I have faith in you. I can't buy food with faith, Barrett. Yeah, I know. Fine. I'll just knock off a bank or something. Maybe I'll keep my family fed for a couple of weeks. Don't talk like that. You don't mean that. It's kind of productive. You're a good man. You work hard. You'll find a job. We'll see. Yes, yeah, this is Barrett. Yeah, oh, hey, hon. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's nothing really that important. Hold on a sec. Hey, just bring an outfit back when you get a chance, all right? No rush, Randy. Mm-hmm. You never agreed to my condition. Still sore over that? If you're not doing it, hand over my bag. Yours? Shit. You are delusional. What constitutes yours? I want this, so it's mine. Would he not go over to get it anyway? Cause he sure as fuck didn't scrape it together by his lonesome. Couldn't tell you. Sure, just like you don't know whether or not you're gonna dump your little boy toy the second you get all your dead bo's money. You're so clever, aren't you? See you in hell. I'll bring the croissants. The bag stays. You realize there's no going back now. Change the price. All right, 10 grand. Good. I'll ask you to shake on it, but I know how you'll feel about it. Here is to hoping we never speak again. De gracia. So, get any good shots? Couple. They gonna make you rich and famous? I doubt it'll be as famous as Abaddon, but it's an interesting hobby. Clean it. 
I'm serious, man. If you mess that up, I'm gonna have to send you the bill, all right? You know what? You don't like what I'm doing to your precious little fucking outfit? Then you go ahead and bill me on your body on clearance and Sears base fucking throat! Don't look at me that way! Merry fucking Christmas! What is it about this time of year that keeps us all hanging on a cheer? Wherever you go, there's people smiling. Cause it's Christmas time and we're feeling fine. Share a little bit of magic with me. Whistle throughout the land. Christmas is a time when the love light shines. Go on and build that big snowman. Share a little All throughout the land Christmas is a time when the love light shines Watching the snowflakes melt in my hand What is it about this time of year? Us, Cause it's Christmas time and we're feeling fine. Share a little bit of magic with me. Whistle throughout the land. So your lady friend's running late, huh? Yeah. Hoping she doesn't show. Nervous about it? Can I get a glass of orange juice? Sure. Uh, I hope you don't mind me crying. It's, it's just my nature. You're a little early, Santa. Any chance you're hiring? Mm, no. Ever? Times are tough, but um, I can see what I can do. Don't run off with that pen, that's my favorite. You okay? I mean, for real? Sure. It's just been a tough couple of weeks. I hear you. Well, don't rush. Take your time. Yeah. People keep telling me that. Telling you what? Never mind. Okay. I'll be damned if I'm going to let Santa walk into my diner on Christmas Eve, looking like he just got a lump of coal in his stocking. It's really not necessary. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'll leave you to do that. Yeah. Where are you? I just said to make a quick stop. You're not at the... Randy? No. No, of course not. You swear. I am not drinking. I swear on my goddamn life. I swear on Abby's life. Randy, don't blaspheme. You know better. I know. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I How did it go with Barrett? Um... 
I mean, best case scenario, I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. April. Yeah, last time I checked. So? So I'm, I'm trying. It's going to take some time. And try harder. Casey, I, I know. Okay, look. Look, I'll be home soon, okay? All right. Bye. My condolences. That sounded rough. Yeah, I bet. Hey, it's Christmas. Everybody's miserable at Christmas. Tell me about it. Daddy. Sure, baby. Yeah. It's me again. Yeah, what's up? Gabby wants to talk to you. Well, uh, just, just tell her I'll be home in a few. Casey? Hey, Daddy. Oh, hey, kiddo. Merry almost Christmas. When are you coming home? Well, I'll be home in a little bit. Can you come home now? Oh, you know what, honey? I, I, I can't right now. I, I, I've got something I got to do first. After? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, you, you excited for Santa to come? Yeah. Yeah? You think he's going to bring you something good? I don't think so. Why, why not? Been a good girl all year, haven't you? Does Santa ever bring money? Money? Why would, why would you want money over some awesome toys? I mean, that's just nonsense, baby. I want money so we could pay the doctors so they could make me all better. Abby, I want you to listen to me very carefully, okay? Your mommy and me, we, we, we got all that worked out. Okay, I mean, you don't have to worry about any of that. Whatever it takes, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of you. You hear me? Whatever it takes. Now, now what do you want to do about supper tonight? We can go anywhere you want, anywhere. Maggie's. I want mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes, yes. Then that's yeah, that's, that's it. That's what we'll do. Maggie's, yeah. Hey, honey, um, we we put your put your mom back on, please. Okay, daddy. Yeah. What the hell was that about? Give me one sec, okay? Honey, why don't you go get ready, okay? So we can leave. Case? Yeah, I'm here. How does she know about that? I don't know. She must have overheard us at the appointment today. But you reassured her, right? Yep. I lied. Hey, hey, it's not lying. You hear me? It's not lying. Everything is going to be okay. How can you say that? Okay, just hang on a second. Let me get off the road. Okay, there we go. So listen, I, I mean it. Everything's gonna be fine. Fine. We don't have money coming in for months, Randy. Look, there's still, there's still a lot of places out there that are hiring. As a burger flipper making two bucks an hour? As opposed to what, huh? You think I was rolling in cash playing Santa for a month? Well, no. Where are you now? Just outside some liquor store. What? What the hell are you doing there? I, I think I got a way for us to get some money for Abby's treatment. We just, just got to make it through the holidays and we can talk about it later, okay? All right. Are you going to meet us there? At Maggie's, yeah. Yeah, I'll... I'll be there in I'll be there in ten or fifteen minutes. All right. I love you. Bye.
Hey. That's, that's, that's not mine. There was, there was a guy. Yeah, yeah, right. Shut no, the hell I, up. No, no, I'm Bracelet. telling you, there was a guy. He was robbing the store. Yes, there is, and yes, there was. Hand behind your back. There we go. Hold it right there. Don't you fucking move. All right, you got the gun? Good. Stand up. It wasn't me. You got a name? Yeah, Randall. Randall Edwards, but you got the wrong guy. I swear I wasn't robbing the goddamn store. Yeah, just like it was your goddamn gun. It's Come on not. I don't even believe it. Listen to me. There was a guy who terrorized out of here, and I heard it. I heard three shots. Watch your head. Listen to me. There was, there was, there was one, and then there was a, two back to back, and then he came out and he took off, and then you guys showed up. You got a description of this guy? Um, yeah, he was a white guy, kind of young, and he was wearing a Santa suit. Also. So you're saying that two guys in Santa suits just happened to be at the same store at the same time? It's Christmas. Look, Randall, you're under arrest for armed robbery. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used. Just stop. Excuse me? Don't bother, man. So let's be clear. You're waiving your Miranda rights, right? Yeah. Just please stop. OK, Randy, listen. If we dust that gun, whose prints are going to come back? Mine. Let me explain. He came out of the store, he dropped it, and I accidentally picked it up. You accidentally picked it up? Get the fuck out of here. You know, if you make this easy on me, I'll make it easy on you. James. Yeah? The clerk's down. She's already gone. I called it in. You get a name? Heather Harrington. Is that you, Randy? I got an alarm. I got a gun. I got a dead woman. And I got you. Look at me, goddammit. And you're telling me this was some other Santa Claus and some astrological event happened or something like that. You want to try me again, Randy? Don't call me Randy. All right, whatever. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How's your day? Interesting. <laughs> Where's homicide? Ah, they're dragging ass as usual. So, here's what we got. Santa Claus there is your trigger man. His real name is Randall Edwards. Uh, the clerk is, was Heather Harrington. She's DOA. Ambulance is en route. No sign of the money yet. And uh, this went out as a silent alarm. Just another Christmas Eve, huh? Bad day? Huh? Normally when I get guys in here on Christmas, it's not because they're having a good day, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just mm -hmm. one of those days. 
Maybe you're looking for a little pick me up. Not like that, you perv. No, no, I'm okay. Come on, it's on me. Unless you want to keep being a sad sack, but to tell you the truth, I'm not trying to polish off this bottle myself, so. Don't even worry about it. It hasn't worked in years. <sighs> Not much of a drinker, are you? Not really. The second one always goes down easier. Is that your girlfriend? How'd you know? Yeah, don't you know we all get intuition about these things? Yeah, she, uh, she said something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing the love boat's sinking though, right? Why would you say that? Well, you're here. Yeah. She kind of has to be, too. Mm. It's my kind of girl. You want to hook me up with her digits? You ever, uh... I mean... You love someone, but you hate how they make you feel. So why stay with them? Look, no, 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 I'm the worst person you should ask to for advice. I mean, my last boyfriend was like a serial cheater and I ain't got no type of family except for my sister. I haven't talked to her in years, so. Okay, well, let's just say for argument's sake, that's all moot. Um, all right, so if she's more of a ball and chain than she is a magnet, just dump her. I mean, unless you're Hindu, you only got one shot at life, so why spend it with someone who makes you feel like shit, you know? Because I love her. <laughs> Look, you ain't gotta tell me that, all right? If you love her, make sure you show her, show her how to feel. Don't just recite the words. Just don't become a slave to her is all. Thanks for the pep talk. Heather. Yeah, yeah. I got that from your name tag. I'm John. John? Okay, John. You don't have to lie to me, John. I don't judge. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Intuition, remember? All right. So it's gonna be thirteen ninety five, John. To be a stranger, John. Uh, could I get a lottery ticket? Yeah, you want a nice purple one? Yeah, whatever's cheapest. Okay, so. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I need the money. All right. Look, just shut up, okay? Just do right. it. And we'll both pretend like this never happened, all right? Look, shut up. You don't have to do just this. Shut up, okay? Please. As soon as I get the money, I'm out of here. No, 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 that, no, that's not enough. No, I need at least three grand from that safe. We don't even keep that much in here. Well, then give me what you do have. Why are you doing this, all right? It doesn't matter. It does matter because you could just walk away. 
No, I can't. I love her. She's making you do this. Stop fucking stalling. I don't know why you just don't go to the top. I mean, she's obviously blackmailing you, right? <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Stay. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. I'm so sorry. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. No, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. I don't care. Go ahead, Romeo. Scratch away. Nothing. I'm gonna consider this a victory. It's been a pleasure. It hasn't. We're not done yet. You're entitled to your opinion. Thank you, Jason. I like your lap dog. He knows where to keep his mouth shut. Come on, Davey. You can dig better than that. Come on, faster. Dig, motherfucker. Come on. Dig that hole. Move, move. See, that's what you get for not wanting to chop her up. Now you gotta dig a bigger hole. Hey!
Hey, kiddo, Merry Christmas! Mom, he called me kiddo just like Daddy does. I heard him, baby. Are you really Santa? You don't look like him. <clears throat> I don't. What, why do you say that? You just don't. Abby. Huh. I, I kind of like that. It, you got me. I'm not Santa. But you've seen a lot of Santas around town, right? Stores, malls, stuff like that, right? My daddy does this. Yes, he does. Yeah, Santa Claus, right? He's awesome. He's magical and shit. I mean, stuff. But let's face it, Santa Claus, he can't be at all places at all times. So he needs helpers, like your daddy and me. You know what I want for Christmas? I couldn't tell you. But if you tell me, I'll make sure the big guy gets the memo. OK? Abby. Mommy, he knows my name. He does. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, uh, Santa's got his work cut out for him. But I'll make sure Santa Claus knows to do his best, OK? Abby, why don't you go inside, get us a table. I'm going to have a little talk here with Santa's helper, OK? OK, Mommy. Hey, look. I'm sorry if I got too close. No. You seem good with kids. How long has your daughter been? Sick. Four months. This time. There's nothing to be ashamed about. I understand. No, you don't understand. And I praise God every single day for each person who doesn't understand. How much does all that medical stuff cost you? Too much. I should get going, and she's probably looking for me, so. Wait. Take this. I can't take this from you. I don't want it. Why? It doesn't matter, OK? Just make sure it's that It's $250,000. No, just, just make sure that you help your kid with that. Mom, when are you coming? I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I'll be, I'll, I'll be right there. I don't, I don't know what to give you. I don't know. No, you know I have what? nothing to give you but no, this. Please, and please. you need to take this. It's what's right. Merry Christmas. You know what your daughter wanted for Christmas? She said she just wants to be normal like all the other kids.
Merry Christmas, girls. Mashed potatoes. And chicken pot pie. Do you know of a man came in here in the last hour or so? Uh, well, I've had my share tonight. What's your type? Mid 40s, a bit haggard. Dressed like Santa Claus? That's him. Uh, yeah, he was in um, right before six. He asked for a job application and then he just took off. Oh, but you know what? He did leave this behind. He just left it? Yep. Enjoy. Good morning, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I have some bad news regarding your husband. No. no, no. Some details are being released, except that the prime suspect in the Magnolia Liquor Store robbery, Randall Edwards, a 47-year-old Glendale resident, has reportedly committed suicide while in police custody. Officials are not releasing any further information at this time. Reporting from North Hollywood, I'm Nick Sanchez which seems to have originated with the botched robbery and the murder of a clerk here at Magnolia Liquor at Hollywood Boulevard. The clerk, Heather Harrington, was pronounced dead at the scene. And the authorities suggest that the perpetrator was actively involved in the death of Officer De Jesus. When did you take them? I took them last night. Isn't that something? Santa came early. Here. I thought you were in the Enema type. 
Is this one of those, it's not me, it's you things, or it's not you, it's me things, whatever the fuck it is? How could you do that? How could I? How could I? I'm so it? glad you asked me that. I mean, while you were kissing him in the dark, I had to open the aperture to an F3.5. The ISO was a bitch, David. but I got there David, eventually. David, stop! When I told you I loved you, it wasn't bullshit. But you never loved me, did you? Did you? Of course I did. Pass down, sir. I still do. Get your hands off me. David. Home free. Think I could get a lottery ticket? Yeah. You want a nice purple one? Yeah, whatever's cheapest. Okay, so... What are you doing? Sorry, I need the money. All right. Look, just shut up, okay? Just do it. And we'll both pretend like this never happened, all right? Look, shut up. You don't have to. Just shut up, okay? Just do it, please. All right. You know, you don't have to do this, all right? You can just put the gun down and we'll both pretend like this never happened. Please. I thought you said you were going to be busy with work. It's Christmas Eve. The kids couldn't wait up for you. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas to you, sweetheart. <laughs> say that I was wrong. There's nothing I want from you. I might propose to her. A girl? Is that why you stopped by to tell me? We can fix this. No, Chris, wait!
is that the same tree? First grade. I'm sorry. It's another sunny Christmas in LA. Another sunny Christmas in LA. There's a traffic jam on the 101, and the weatherman says, Sun, sun, sun. I miss icicles and snowballs. Sunny Christmas in LA. That's alright, that's okay. Santa is coming here and we on a big red motorcycle. Who needs a sleigh? Santa's coming anyway. There's some smoke above from a chimney top. Wait a minute, no. That's just a lot of smug But I'm so happy to be here this time of year I won't cry and I won't pout Cause I'm not prizing when I get out And my heart is full of love and good cheer It's another sunny Christmas in L.A. That's all right Santa is coming here and we on a big red motorcycle who needs a sleigh Santa's coming anyway cause it's Christmas in LA Christmas in L.A. Santa's coming anyway Cause it's Christmas in L.A. Cause it's Christmas in L.A.